Hey, casual tutorial time. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to talk about arm and body tricks. So, the idea is that I'll show you the basic mounts, and then if you see one of these used in a video, say a trick video or a competition video, and you want to learn those tricks, this will give you a good place to start. Anyway, the first one I want to cover is a basic neck trapeze. The idea is that you throw a breakaway, and you can pinwheel it if you want. Then from there, you want to stick your head into the string without getting hit by the yo-yo. So you do that, then you see it come around the bottom. Usually what I do is I stick my um, throw hand index in there to give it a little more control. As you see it come around the bottom, you land in a trapeze. Then from there, you can mount on that side, mount on that side. You can undermount. You can even do wheelie hops. Okay. Easiest way to get out of there, just to come out the way you came in. Okay, so to review that sequence, you trapeze, you can there, up. Okay, so some of that might have been off screen, but I think you probably got most of the interesting stuff, so we're good. So that's a fun one, it's an easy one, it's not too bad. You should be able to do all of that. Uh, yeah. The next one is an arm trapeze, basic throw arm trapeze. The way it looks, that. Okay, the easiest way to get into that would be to throw the trapeze, you pinwheel it. As it comes across the top, you stick your elbow into the path of the string. It'll come across the bottom and you land. Okay, that'll take a little bit of practice, but it's not too bad. Then from there, of course, you can undermount on that side. Of course, you can undermount on this side. Of course, you can do VLI hops. They're a little trickier because you're, um, instead of controlling with your backhand, you're like controlling with your elbow. And the easiest way to dismount is to just stick your arm out straight, and then you'll be in a basic trapeze. Another cool thing that you'll see people do from there, which sort of has a 4A feel to it, is from there you can, uh, basically the way I'm going to do it is you take the string that's on your finger and you stick that into the gap. Then you can guide the string around the bottom and then there's a variety of tricks you can do from here. You can get creative. One thing that I like to do is I like to get into that triangle there. So to repeat that combo, because that'll just be our basic combo for this, is you get on that side, and around the bottom, hop onto the front string, move to the front string, and now you're in a triangle. So that's our basic combo from that. I'm bad at this next one, so I'm not going to demo it, but I'm just going to like talk about it. Um, you can practice it, you can notice it being done in people's videos, is you can do the same sort of thing, sort of going around your throw arm elbow from a breakaway. Again, it's like, I'm not great at it, but basically what you do is you throw it around your arm, and then you can do whatever you want from there. I'm not great at it, so again, you're not going to get any good demos of that out of me. The next one that's interesting, and the sort of a few variations on this will be our last thing, is to do um, non-throw arm uh, trapezes. So, of course, you could just say get it around your arm and then land it. And some people do that. It's of course a little tacky when I'm doing it. It's not super nuanced. So, anyway, the sort of a, an easier thing to do with this arm would be to get it like that. So the idea for that is you throw the breakaway and then you intercept it with your bicep, tricep area, you intercept it with your arm. Then as it comes across this side, you intercept with your throw hand index and then you trapeze it over your non-throw hand. Okay, and that'll take a little bit of practice to get to work, but it's not too bad. Make sure you don't hit your head or anything. And from here, of course, you can undermount, 
course, from here, if you're better than me, you can probably do Mulai hops. And another useful thing from here is that instead of doing it like that, you could, instead of coming across and trapezing, you can do a 1.5 here. And the 1.5 gives you enough room to take your arm back out. That way it's just around your elbow. That's also a fairly effective dismount. So keep that in mind. So anyway, I guess that'll be, so if you need a basic combo, I guess let's make that the basic combo done. So then there, there, okay, actually like our basic combo is just gonna be a bind from there because you know, I'm, I'm not super good at this one, so I don't know a lot of good ways to connect it, but let's just do the trapeze there, undermount there, tunnel your arm over and bind. Okay, so TLDR on this video, um, arm moves can be really fun, can be super useful. You don't need to be afraid of them, they're not that bad. And so the basic points we covered in this video include a basic neck trapeze, which of course is fun, a basic throw arm trapeze, also fun, and a basic non-throw arm trapeze, which looks like that. And well, anyway, hope you liked it. If you find this to be useful, let me know. If you don't find it to be useful, if you find it to be horrible, also let me know if that's useful. You can leave me comments either on the Reddit thread that will be associated with this video or in my pants on YouTube. Uh, my pants love the comments. And, you know, if you like or subscribe on YouTube, that gives me a lot of positive feedback that lets me know that what I'm doing is working for you. A dislike on YouTube is a little less useful unless you also give me a comment about why you're disliking, but you can give me dislikes if you want, that's cool. And uh, if you decide to try practicing any of these, I would love to see videos of it. Just that would be fun, you know, so you can post those wherever you want, just let me know how you're doing. Anyway, if you have been liking it, thanks.